plaintiff, India Holmes, is in court today suing her mother and her grandmother. India claims she was raised by her great-grandmother because the defendants were too busy running the streets to care for her. And once she turned 17, her mother tried to fight her, run her over, and even stole her graduation cap and gown. She's suing for personal property. Defendants Deborah Holmes and her mother Mary say India is nothing but a disrespectful troublemaker who not only uses cocaine and marijuana, but stole money from Mary several times. Mary's countersuing for stolen funds. Start with you. Well, I'm 17 years old. I'm here today with my great grandmother. She has raised me since I was one because my mother had me at a young age and she was 15 because her and her mother were out and about in the streets and she wasn't capable of raising a child. And when I turned 17, I wanted to experience how it would like to be, to live with my mom, because I never got the chance to really be around her or anything. And it was a terrible experience. She tried to run me over with the car. She tried to fight me. Um, two couple days ago, she came up to my school and got my cap and gown and my graduation ticket. What's the age range in which she did all of this? 17. She did it all in one year? Mm-hmm. Okay. Must have been something going on that one year. Go ahead. Uh, and she took my prom dress back to the store. Well, you all went on a rampage <laughs> that year. <laughs> all right. Let me hear from you ladies about uh, what is going on. Okay, first of all, Your Honor, um, I was young, about 15, 16, when I had my daughter. Uh, my mother and father was going through a divorce, and my grandmother, uh, I guess, figured, you know, I shouldn't be having a kid because they were basically angry with, with my mother at the time. So they didn't want me to have the kid. They was making all different kind of accusations about me, you know, being young. Um, I was out drinking and taking her into bars uh, accordingly after probably like a few months after I had her. So I was like, that's like not true at all. So basically they got custody of her. Um, I, they didn't even give me a chance to see what I could do as uh, far as raising her. Um, they kept her with her. You didn't do nothing at 15. Now, what else do you want right. me to know? They, they kept her. Uh, they didn't let me see her just a few times, but I went over there a, a lot of times. A few times over the course of how long? When she was, uh, one and a half, they, uh, got her. Up until... No, but up until up what Up until age? probably about 13 years old. You didn't see her from one and a half to age 13. Right, they kept, you, you know, they kept... And you lived in the same town. Right. What would they typically say when you would go and try and visit with your daughter? I would daughter? go and try to visit with her. They were just like, well, you're not allowed to visit with her because we're mad at your No, you would call then? Mother. Is that what you're saying? Yes. How often did you call? Um, I called, I didn't call that much. Oh, okay. But Got I would it. go and Let's see her. Let's move past that then. They didn't prohibit I would go you. And see her. You didn't want to see her. No, I would see go her. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, ma'am, what did you want to tell me about this? When she used to come over and spend a night, she would take like cookies and hot, eat the whole bag. <laughs> she, I mean, <laughs> Your, Your Honor, okay. I mean, she would ask, like, can I have a couple of cookies? And I said, okay, I said, where the cookies? Anything else other than taking no. cookies? Man. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. What else? I mean, she took money. She, she did a, a whole from lot where? of... where? Where would she take it from? She would go out. <laughs> so, did you try to run her over? I did not try to run her over, but I did go and bang on my grandmother's window when she was driving her car because she, you know, used... When she was driving whose car? She was driving my grandmother's van, and mm -hmm. she used profanity against me. Good enough. Uh, can we get to the stealing? You steal anything from her ever? Right. No, I didn't steal anything from her. She's a legend that, uh, I mean, my mother is a legend that she stole from her. No, didn't you tell awesome. me they stole from you? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, describe when they stole from you. They started to steal from me in November of 2014. What did they steal? My grandmother stole my purple Jordans, which I have a Your picture. Your what? My purple Jordans. Good enough. And she still has them? She still has all my shoes, and she also has my cell phone. How, how many pairs of shoes? 30 pairs of tennis shoes. 30 pairs of tennis shoes. All right. I and what know. else? My <laughs> Galaxy S4. Pardon? My Galaxy S4 cell phone. Your cell phone? My laptop. Okay. 
Where did they get these things from? Well, when I had moved with my mom, I had took everything that I had to her house. Why do you think she did these things? She said I stole money from her, which did not happen. All right. Now, let's get to your graduation and prom dress. Did you all take that back? I never took a prom dress back. What happened was I went to pay for it for her. I had it in layaway. And yes, I got my money back from it because she's real disrespectful. Okay. So and that's why I did that. That's the prom dress. How about her right. graduation outfit? Her, yeah, I got the cap and gown also because she's unruly. And I told my grandmother, would she try to hit me with her cane at another juvenile Never. court? I told her if she wanted that, that she could pay me my money back Nothing for but it. violence and thievery. <laughs> All right. Now, let's hear uh, your counterclaim for stolen money. $1,390. How did she steal from you? She smoked weed, she snort cocaine, and she gave... She How do you gave, know all that? I was in... She spent the night with me. I mean, you saw her snorting and cocaine? I have evidence. Yes. I have some evidence yes. of her. Uh, she's, you know, yes. as far as her doing different, like, uh, drugs or whatever. I want to hear about this snorting cocaine. Yeah. Uh, not was, smoking weed. That's uh, a big no. difference. Your Honor, she was laying on the, uh, on the floor. She usually get in my bed on one laying side. Laying on the floor. She was laying on the floor. That's pretty hard. And... <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure how you do that, really. <laughs> I mean, Go ahead. She was laying I'm... on the floor and what On her back? On her stomach. On and her I stomach. I was amazed. I was amazed, because... I am, too, I'm with this amazed. story. <laughs> I'm amazed, too. <laughs> So she was laying on her, on her stomach. stomach. The reason why I'm amazed. Did she have anything or she just she used her nose? <laughs> <laughs> Did she have a card, a, a straw? She had a long straw and it lasted for over an hour for her blowing in that straw like that. Long line. And what were you doing? That's a long an line. Hour. That's a lot of cocaine. <laughs> yeah. So she finally got in the bed. No, no, no. I want to know what you did for this entire hour. <laughs> <laughs> that you were looking at your granddaughter <laughs> on her stomach, <laughs> snorting cocaine. She was doing all this stuff. Ma'am, let's and go. Blowing. Let's move on, ma'am. Let's move <laughs> on. Uh, um, she owned what cocaine. What did she steal from you? That's where we were. She stole money from me. Give me the incident. Okay. The first incident, it was $50. I dropped, I went to the restroom and I dropped 400 and Eighty dollars. It was in my bra and it fell out when I came out. When I went to the restroom, the money fell out. Out of your bra? Yeah. When you were adjusting it. And um, I had used the bathroom. Huh? I had used the restroom and she went in there. And she um, found the four hundred eighty dollars. She said, Hold on. "Who's this, this?" Hold on. <laughs> While using the restroom. Four hundred and fifty dollars. Eighty. 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 Yeah. Huh? Four eighty. Four hundred and eighty fell out because sometime I had a bra. Oh no. Okay. So you sitting there? <laughs> <laughs> and then suddenly four hundred and eighty dollars fall out. <laughs> you don't see it. You just get up. Go about your business. Um, Is that so what you want I me went to into know? My, no, I went into my room and I was no, like... No, 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 bathroom. We in the restroom, no, remember? in the restroom. Right. I went in my room and I felt my bra, my money was gone. So she met me halfway and said, here go That's your what money. My point is, it yeah. fell out in the bathroom. In the bathroom. I'm serious. And I it, yeah, and if, hold on. And if okay. you're sitting down, it fell out like... <laughs> Within, within three inches or five inches, it fell out within five inches of your eyes. And you didn't see it falling out. Let's move on, ma'am. So okay. tell me what the next incident. The next incident, I had a, some money under my thigh. I was about to go. <laughs> I mean, under my thigh, and I was about to go. I was supposed to take more. All right, y'all, quiet, quiet, quiet. Tell me. I was trying but to this take... This is my... getting better and better. Quiet. <laughs> Hold on. I was about to... Me and her was about to take my son to Columbus. What when happened? I went to go wash up to get... Because I couldn't take a shower. I was dizzy, so I had to... 
I just went in there to wash up, and I remember my money was under my thigh. Uh -huh. So I came back in you there. You went in that same bathroom. <laughs> You better stay out of that bathroom. <laughs> so you went into that same bathroom. This time you had the money under your thigh. Yeah. And it fell out? Fell. Yeah. It fell out? Yes. And w on my side of the bed. She, I seen her running from my room, from my side of the bed. And she had done got the money. And, and then what? She hid it that, just that quick. OK. She be All crying. right. The next incident. OK. I had money in my pocket. I had just got a big thing of money. Mm -hmm. No, and she, I count my money because I just had. Where got were a you big, all this time? I had the just bathroom. Got a big... <laughs> Where were you? Kitchen. I was in my room. Okay, and what happened? She. How much was she it? She took a thousand dollars out of my pocket. You caught her going in your pocket? She, I was asleep, but she went in there and got my money out. Did you wake I counted up? It. And I wake, woke up, I counted my money, and she had it. How do you know it was her? She told the truth. She said, I owe you all that money. And she told the officer. <laughs> OK, all right. She said, I owe you all this money, and I swear to God, I'm going to pay you back. OK, Because after right. she take your money, she'll let you know she got it, because she even told me that she took her money, too. Okay. All right. And she took 8000 from her. So and she so, says. $8,000 from her. her and her boyfriend. State your name, ma'am. I'm Alberta Holmes. I'm India's great-grandmother. Okay. Did she ever steal any money from you? Yeah, she took some, but she admitted that she did it. They say you admitted to stealing from them. No, I did not, Your Honor. And About from your great-grandmother? Yes, I did. Okay. But you never admitted stealing from your grandmother? No, Your Honor. All right. Anybody have any evidence of anything? I do. Yes. Oh, I what do you have? I have my grandmother's criminal record. Let's see. And I have pictures of all my shoes. Having pictures of your shoes doesn't mean she stole them. And my grades. Ma'am? I'm getting to a long criminal record. I used to be a shoplifter, but I don't do it, no. But she is she a shoplifter in the stores, too. You shoplift also? Yes. I don't shoplift. I used to shoplift. When did you stop? After I moved back with my great-grandmother. When was that? In February of 2015. Both parties have agreed that they're thieves? I have evidence. You have what? I have evidence also. Of what? I have evidence about everything that she has done what since is that? she's been with my grandmother. Let me see. Is that a record, These too? Police re the police report, I have evidence about uh, text Misuse. messages. Theft. Misuse of credit card. What do you have on the text messages? Um, her disrespecting. Long record also, for you as well. Also, what? Also, her um, uh, text stealing my grandmother, I mean, my mother's cars. And she had another text message. All um, y'all take a hike, but great grandmom, you can stay, <laughs> but y'all go. Both your claims are dismissed. All of you have been proven to be thieves. She's a liar. I don't I want nothing to do with my mom her. or my grandmother. I have. I don't want nothing else to do with them. I'm cool. What's your son? She don't want nothing to do with you. We don't uh, want to have. I said you too. I'm done with the whole you situation. Too. I mean, oh. I have a, I have my cap and gown that I, you know, wore in from the beginning. So I mean, I'm done with the whole situation. Situation.